Hi guys, I'm Marnie. And I'm David. And we are co-workers here at NBC. Uh, we've heard a lot about this intermittent fasting and we've decided to give it a shot. Yesterday I started this thing called intermittent fasting, fasting. Mm -hmm. which is everybody's doing it. You only eat during an eight hour period of the day. Hi guys, we're off to meet with a nutritionist to make sure we get this right. So I'm so happy you're here. So I know you're both interested in intermittent fasting. For me, it's more about high blood pressure and mm -hmm. high cholesterol. So I thought that I would actually try this as a, as a way to kind of see if I can improve. I want to do this to lose weight. I have two kids and I haven't really taken care of myself in all these years. So overall health is really where your interest is coming from. Intermittent fasting in general is just a way. I'd say the biggest benefit to it is that if, when you reduce the amount of hours that you're eating, you often eat less. <laughs> the easiest way to stick with it is doing the 16-8. So 16 hours fasting, the eight hours where you can eat. So do you have to fast the same hours every day? You really don't. You can vary it, and it would also be fine if you broke it for a day. That's okay, you can just get right back onto it. And are there restrictions? What I would recommend to eat during those eight hours is really the same type of a diet that I would recommend if you were not doing an intermittent fast. Right. So loads of vegetables, healthy fats, high quality lean protein, and then maybe one or maybe two high quality starchy high fiber carbohydrates, so something like brown rice, and then also don't overdo things like fruit, and make sure that during those eight hours that you really are meeting your nutrient needs, that you are getting adequate protein, that you are getting your vegetables in and your healthy fat. If you drink coffee, for example, you can have your coffee, but you can't add anything to it. But you do want to make sure in the morning if you're having your coffee, you are having it black, and same goes for tea. You can have green tea, black tea, any herbal tea. And then let's talk about alcohol for a moment. Many people ask me, should I have a glass of wine or should I have a tequila? And what I always tell people is have the drink that you enjoy the most. Because if you're going to have X amount of drinks a week while you're you know, trying to become a healthier person, you want to enjoy that drink, I think you two are going to do great. It's definitely easier doing the fast during the week. The weekend was definitely the toughest. I think the caffeine from the black coffee definitely helps quiet down some of the hunger pangs. It's really not that difficult. I find that if I have a cup of black tea, I'm totally fine until noon. But really, it's been, it hasn't been hard. Though the scale doesn't say a difference, clothes fit me better. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. It just seems like the normal routine thing to do. I was surprised at how quickly that became like the normal feeling. Friday, I had a little bit of a slip up at my desk, but I'm fine. What was it? Um, I had Twizzlers and a bag of potato chips. <laughs> Hi guys, today starts day um, 21. It's the beginning of my third week. Today's gonna be a hard day. I stopped eating, I wanna say like 9, 9.30 and I had two glasses of wine and I'm exhausted this morning. I'm probably not going to be able to eat until 1 or 1.30 today. I definitely will have tea this morning, maybe a lot of it, but hopefully I get through it. Yesterday I was traveling and traveling was a bit difficult. I had a bagel again, it's my go-to, uh, around 10.30. Getting off of schedule is really when I notice that I'm hungry in the morning. This is my breakfast for today. I don't know if you could see that. Some um, boiling water. And then I'm gonna add it to some filtered water with lemon. Hi guys, there's just a few more days that I'm on intermittent fasting. I've really tried to stop eating by 7 p.m. so I can have my morning coffee at 11 and then I eat at noon, but that's really been helping me. My stomach growled at the beginning, which is embarrassing in meetings, but it didn't really, it sort of went away. And my only trouble were, was really on the weekends when I'm making breakfast for my kids. That's where it became a problem for me, but I stuck to it. I didn't have any cheat days, so 
In the beginning, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought that it was going to be a lot harder. Monday through Friday was not a problem at all. On intermittent fasting, I definitely lost a few pounds, like I think it's three or four pounds, but um, my clothes definitely fit me better. The biggest result <laughs> for me was um, being more conscious about the food that I was eating and just kind of realizing it's okay to feel hungry or like not feeling the need to kind of feel really full after every meal. I definitely lost, I would say, between two and four pounds. Um, the one thing that I would tell someone is that everything's worth a try. Right? It's not that difficult. If I can do it, believe me, you can do it.